Hey, what's going on guys? It's XD here back again with another video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own YouTube track art that you're going to put on your track when you're sharing it to YouTube. Now, I recently released a track called Lunar, the one that has the artwork that you see right here. I'm going to show you how you can easily do this in Photoshop, but you can always use the same trick in other photo editing softwares as well. So basically what you want to do is you want to come here to file and click on new and you want to select a 1920 by 1080 canvas so i usually come here to film and video and just select the hdtv 1080p and then i'll come here to create and then it's going to open a canvas like this one over here so what you want to do after this is um go to the artwork that you have for your own track so i have the one for lunar right here this is the one so i'm going to import it and it's going to look like this so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to make it sit like right there on the side you can see here it already has these um, these lines over here these leading lines these are kind of like the uh, safe lines for a video so I'll just place it there so that it just sticks to that so it's just right here over to the left then it depends with how your um, your cover art is set up if you just have the cover art like this then it's fine you can just uh, use it like this but I'm going to show you a way that will make it much more easier and look much more uh, nice so if you have the photo that's in the background of the artwork like I have this photo over here let me just open it up for you you can see it's the photo of the moon behind a certain structure over there so I, I can just drag this and drop that in there and I'll just lower I'll just make it sit and I'll just lower this um, layer below the layer of uh, uh, art so now you can see that it's behind it then I'm just gonna stretch it out I'm gonna press shift and then I'm gonna stretch out the edges just like that then I'm I maybe want the moon to come out here and then I'm gonna stretch again until it covers the whole canvas and I'm just gonna stretch it so that the moon is a nice circular nice circular shape just like that so now that's what we have so I'm gonna place it and then this is how it looks like so now I'm just gonna come here to view and I'm just gonna click on view and I'm gonna switch off extras to switch off all those lines so basically you actually halfway done with this so now you want to select the layer that is behind this big layer that we stretched out and you want to go to filter and you want to go to blur and Gaussian blur and then you just want to set it around 10 you can see the blur just kind of adds you know an out of focus or bokeh type of effect to it so that the, the main artwork that we want to focus on is in uh, focus you can actually notice it this is just a background because we don't want it to be empty so we can just enter 10 and then there we go and then now all we just have to do is fill in information here so you, just, you can just go to your text tool and click over here and say track name and then you can add that then I'll just say lunar lunar and that's it then I'll just come and then I'll just place it somewhere around here and then I'll just change the color to white so that it stands out and then maybe I can reposition that blood moon back again so that the text is a bit more clear there we go and I can just move it over there that on auto so I can either make this small or whatever size that I feel like so I feel like that is fine so then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back and add any information that I want to add to this like I have the track name I can also um, add track duration if I want to then I can go and add um, some more information like maybe label if I want to also add oops that two L's if I also want to add the label to this but then keep in mind that you would want to I'll just say X music and then duration I think it's uh, six minutes something 605 605 minutes then now the text is not looking so good but we want the text to kind of lean to the left so I'm gonna come here over on these three um, three little icons over here then I'm gonna make it align to the left just like that then I'm gonna make it small so everything can fit just like that so people can see the information of your track so you can either put it in the middle or you can put it wherever you feel like 
uh, makes much more sense. And I'll just turn this to mins. Then I can just make this text a bit, a bit bigger and you can come here to the text and go to blending options and click on drop shadow just to add a little bit of shadow to the text. Then I can drop down the opacity a bit and now I can make it a bit bigger. Then I can stretch them out like this so that they have some distance apart. And then there we go. Basically that's it. So if you have any other log logos that you want to add and you have any other information that you want to add, you know you add them over here to the right and then you can add maybe if it's socials or anywhere else the song can be found on or any other information or credits or whatever. You know you can just put them over here but you have your artwork over here. So this is the file that you now use when you're converting uh, the audio file to video file. I have a video showing you exactly how to do this when you're trying to share on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to it up there so you can uh, check it out and also in the description so this is basically how you can design this nice and easy I also have a video of how you can design your own simple artwork for your next drop or your next single just like this so you can also check that video out if you found this video really helpful leave a like down below but I'm gonna check you out in my next video subscribe if you're new here I'm gonna check you guys out in my next video I'm X and I'm out peace